Hi, this is Mike, Five Squared Support, doing our next video. This is going to be about Macrium Reflect version 8. This is one of the last main versions that is offered for free. It has most of the functionality, not all, but most. And we're going to show you how to get that and how to use it. It's interesting that I'm doing this video and OneDrive is asking you to do a backup. Well, Macrium Reflect, it does backups for you. So the first thing we're going to do is install Macrium Reflect. And I'm going to go to Edge because that's the only thing installed on this version of Windows 11. And I'm going to go, I'm going to go to 5 squared tech. Well, you know, you could just go 5 squared dot tech. On this page, I have software link. And Macrium reflects the one we're going to do. I think January of this year, which is 2023, Macrium Reflect got rid of the option to have a free version. The reason I put this version on the website, I don't care about preview. download this anyway the reason I put this on the website is because this version is free they got rid of the free and this is the version I got directly from Maxim I can't even say it now Macrium <laughs> I'm losing my mind Macrium when I I used this for about two years and then I finally bought it about two years ago I love this program but it's great even in the form that is free so we're going to go ahead and install this. You know, we must read. Okay, time to reboot. All right, we're going to go ahead and open Macrium Reflect now. This first thing we're going to do, you can do in the free version as well. I'm going to take my C drive, and I'm going to, we're not going to do, the, do not do the new version. In fact, We should configure update check, skip all updates, do not do an update, never check. We do not want this to update because this is the free version. You update it, it will not be the free version. I'm glad that showed up. What we're going to do is image the disk. And the disk we want to image will be the Samsung C drive. I'm going to image all of this except for this last partition, okay? And then you tell your computer, well, where do you want to store this image? I know I want to store it on my M drive, and I want to store it in this folder. We're going to name this, hmm, OS stands for operating, back, full backup. Oops. I also like to put the date in there. Even though the file's dated, you know, how you want to name it, your preference. And I'm going to press OK. So, what we're saying here is let's back up these three partitions or these four partitions and we're going to save it here. I'm going to go next. You can schedule these things to do every daily, monthly. This is not going to be an in depth tutorial. Again, you can either Give us a call if you need in-depth at this phone number or visit our website and contact us on any various of these sites. So we're not going to do a schedule here. We're just going to do a one-time backup here, and I'm going to go ahead and move on and do that. I'm just going to go with all the defaults. I'm going to uncheck Save. I would save this backup if it's something I'm going to schedule for daily, which I do. But in this case, I'm just showing you how to backup an image. Press OK. This backup should take two to three minutes. It's crazy.
crazy. You got this free software available, and even the paid version's worth it. I don't know what statistics are. Maybe I should put a survey up on my uh, web page that gets about seven visits a day <laughs> of how many people do backups. Um, but I mean, all this, this is just the operating system, right? You can always kind of replace these, although it's a pain once you get it configured the way you want to have to replace it. But that's not mission critical, really, or critical data. But, oh, people have their family videos, their babies, their birthday presents and Christmas and grandpa and grandma. And they have all that just exposed either on a phone, a thumb drive. I mean, it's crazy people don't do this regularly. And it should be regularly. And, it, and it's easy. There's several pieces of software you could do it with. And this is one of them, but it's one of the better ones, in my opinion. I think I predicted in my head, if not verbally, two, uh, two hours, two minutes and 12 seconds for to back up this image. I'm going to show you something you would do with this image if you needed to. For instance, if you got a new drive or you're upgrading a drive and you wanted to switch it, temporarily you could plug that drive into a USB docking station into your computer. And what you would do is you go to existing backups. There's several ways to do it, okay? But this is the backup we just made. We can click restore. And this is the, the image we just made. And this is the one we'd want to restore. And then you just select the drive you want to restore it on. That's it. It's that easy to upgrade your hard drive or replace your hard drive. Highly recommend this is a regular thing you do. I highly recommend you do this because losing your family data will be devastating and make no mistake if you don't plan for it it is going to happen there is no doubt your hard drives are going to break you need at least two copies preferably maybe even three one of them off-site anyhow i hope this video was helpful to you it's helpful to me give me a call if you need help five squared support dot tech goodbye for now